So I'll do a quick video review of this Viper before I sell it. So this isn't fully knocked in. Um, I got it on Friday. So it was oiled uh, Friday evening after I did the photos and then again on Saturday. Uh, and I started knocking it on Sunday, basically rolling the edges and Monday last night. And then I spotted a, um, a deal that I couldn't refuse on the internet and thought, well, you only live once. So this is up for sale at cost. And she's a beautiful bat. Um, it's going for $200. So beautiful burnt in stamping. It's got a few little knocks on it. Probably during manufacture. There's a little dent there and there's a little one there. But they were all done before I received it. So the face has been oiled. You can see those lovely grains have all come up. Pretty much, what, just over a third heartwood on the left hander's outside edge. Uh, it's 14 grains across, fairly straight. Uh, well, straighter than you'll see on some grade one reserve bats, in fact, uh, and they're nice and even. So this is a really lovely piece of wood here. Um, it's got a pin knot there, another one there, some sort of uh, edge of something there, a little bit of speck here and there, but the back is fairly clean except for a little dent and some scratching from when it was in the factory. That was there before we got it. Uh, factory fitted tow guard. You can tell by the shoulders, um, if I can get that into focus, that those grains run straight through the toe. So they're beautiful grains running all the way down the back. Um, 40, I think it was 41 millimeter edges. I checked them as well. They're, they're perfectly symmetrical on both sides. So 40.1 after rounding. Toe, I think I got 30, but I think I measured it a little bit in. So I'll do it there. It says 28.2. And on the corners, measuring there, 23, which is pretty, pretty good. Um, what else? I think we're 18, or between 15 and 18 mils on the toe, on the uh, shoulders. You can see by that shot there, there's pretty much maybe a minimal bit of concaving there. So this area here has got no concaving. Spine running up into the handle. It's a round handle with this nice zigzag grip. Brand new. I put that on. I'll just put that on so I can hang it. But you can see by the um, binding it's really good quality and it's nice quality thread too so and it's got rubber inserts I'll just put that back up actually I'll take it off the SS thing on the end all the you can scratch that to see whether it, uh, whatever details it is verify me Original ton stamp. Uh, shot up the concaving. Let's see if I can get it for you. So, maybe one mil. Yeah, one mil. And it's got a much more distinctive duck bill than the the Maximus. This one really drops down there. So you got all that wood running all the way through here and it's quite tall actually, I think I measured it at 65.6 <coughs> or something like that millimetres uh, with minimal concaving the bat weighs we get that now so that's 29.4 so that's a good weight and the pickup of the bat it's really light to be honest in my hands well I've, my bat's 287 and I reckon this picks up just as as good but I've got a bit more wood down the down the bottom um, 
and a spine toe, so it's that sort of affects the, the pickup as well. Um, but yeah, this one picks up just as good. Um, the, the handle isn't as thick as mine, so this is a what I'd call not thin, not really thin like an SG grip. It's a little bit thinner, um, but you can easily add another grip and get this to 211 and it will just feel weightless. Uh, yeah, so lovely bat, beautiful grains. Um, so remembering this isn't fully knocked in. A little bit harder off that area there. But it's going absolutely nuts right from there all the way to there. So she's a really nice press. A little bit harder than the wood of the, the Maximus, but you would expect that because this is a um, grade 2 bat. So I w wouldn't be surprised if you'd pick up a bat like this between four and and $500 in a, um, or even anywhere nearly, maybe up to 550 in, in a manufactured bat. Anyway, we'll pause this and we'll bounce the ball on it. So I've got uh, an old ball four piece and we'll just do some bouncing on it. Because of those tight grains, it's not going to need as much knock in and play in to reach its peak. Alright, I'll get a slightly newer two piece. Yeah, it is in the April. And my daughter's jumping in the picture there. All right, so here we go. That's the uh, Viper you're going to get at cost. So, beautiful bat, $200. It's an absolute steal. Whoa. You get, <laughs> we've got sound effects in the background. And you'd get, uh, I mean, you'd pay three, three fifty for this. And you wouldn't even bat an eyelid. Beautiful bat. 200 bucks. First in, first served. Thanks.